few words about our day. So this is our eighth annual our day celebration in Saratoga. And as you know, Saratoga is proudly a tree city USA. We have met national standards of South Urban Forestry Management. As you know, trees produce oxygen, offer shade, muffle noise, and clean the soil, and are also aesthetically pleasing. I'm sure many of you will agree with me when I say that we are very lucky to live in such a beautiful tree city like Saratoga. And with this, I'd like to move on by presenting a proclamation to El Quito neighborhood who has spent a great deal of effort in planting trees around the neighborhood. So um, I'd like to invite representative ja Jala, is that Jale? Can you announce your last name? Uh, Jale Tagipur. So I'd like to read out the proclamation from El Quito for El Quito neighborhood. Oh, why did you come up? <laughs> so, El Quito Neighborhood Association is participating in the tr City of Saratoga Lighting and Landscaping District, and the City of Saratoga Public Works Department recommended the tree program, and since 2010, there have been five planting events with 147 trees planted in El Quito Park, and 211 trees planted in a neighborhood's public easement area. That's very, that's a lot of work. Thank you so much. And whereas the planting of the trees are done by volunteers in the neighborhood and our city forest, a nonprofit whose mission is to make Santa Clara County green and healthy. And whereas the El Quito Neighborhood Association also offers a free mistletoe trimming program to keep the trees healthy. So I now therefore thus hereby recognize the excellent work of the El Quito Neighborhood Trees for Free program and our city forest for making Saratoga's urban canopy fuller and more vibrant. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so Please much. share this with your neighborhood will, and convey our thanks. I will. Thank you so much. And thank you to the city and also to the neighborhood itself for participating in this plan, in this program, and for the city to supporting us. Thank you. As some, of, as some of you may know, the city of Saratoga has a heritage tree inventory. Residents have been encouraged to seek heritage status for the beautiful large trees on their properties. Today, we have two new additions to this inventory, including a blue axless cider and an oak tree. I'd like to invite the owner, if they're here, could Ed Porter and James and Deborah Collier please come up to accept the certificates. I have Deborah Collier here. Thanks. So Deborah, would you like to say a few words about the tree? Okay, there is a picture over there of my oak tree and it's on Ravenwood on the same street that uh, Marshall Lane School is on. And my fondest memories of my oak tree is to see the little children walk down the street and just look up at the tree as they walk down. It's my honor and pleasure to present the certificate. Uh, we hope there are many more home co uh, homeowners who will come up and uh, let us know about the heritage tree and then we could build our inventory and make it a more um, tree-friendly tree and a tree city USA. So I'd like to move on to the next item and um, invite our mayor, Joe Hunter, to say, uh, sorry, past mayor. <laughs> past mayor Joe Hunter to say something about the speech contest and I'm sure she'll, ha she'll have some wonderful advice, tree advice to share with us. How nice to see everybody here. And I'm just, isn't it funny, last year was so hot at Arbor Day and this year was so cold, you just never know. Um, 
we had a contest, which we have every year, a poster contest, and the children of the school district uh, have responded. And uh, But before I announce the winners, I wanted to read to you our dear friend Betty Peck, could not be here today, but she has a tree blessing that I would like to read to you in honor of Betty, who is unable to come. Um, and this is, may we be planting here hope for the earth, for the family, families of trees that seek good nourishing ground in which to grow. May this tree, meaning our heritage, that tree we're planting today, May its sweet green breathing inspire our breathing. May we too be rooted and hold our ground and like this tree rise above to drink sunlight and starlight. And may we learn from this tree to open wide our arms and freely give. These are all the kids who participated. There were three categories, K through four, five through eight, and then the high school, whatever high school, whoever wanted to uh, send one in and we are very very proud to announce the winner the first winner is uh, from Saratoga Elementary oh Kyleen Kyleen Leo where is Aww. where is <laughs> Kyleen come yet oh Kyleen come on up yay really good. big winner very good shake hands Congratulations! Nice job. This is our. Do you want to? Do you want to talk about it at all? What you were thinking about when you drew this lovely picture? I drew it because I like to paint under trees. Wow, that's a beautiful painting. So that will be in the library for a month for people to look at and to see. And you have a grand prize of $50 from Yolo Tea to take your friends to Yolo Tea. And so let me see which is, no, I think it's the long white one. This is Yolo Tea. So you can, you know where Yolo Tea is in the village? Okay, you got a lot of money to go there and spend with your friends. A lot of ice cream. Thank you. Stay up here for a minute, so we'll announce the next one. In, in the center spot here, also from Saratoga Elementary, from four, from fifth grade at Saratoga Elementary, guess what? Same wow. family. Oh my God. We, you oh, let, oh, I would like to thank our judges, by the way, Allison Parnum from uh, Saratoga Library and Tree, tree. <laughs> Kate Bear from <laughs> the Arbors of the City of Saratoga and me. And we had no idea who did these drawings. And we just went around and, and picked because we thought they represented what it, we had in mind when we did it. So anyway, this is Aileen. And Aileen wanted to have a gift certificate to Bay Tong in the village because one of her classmates is in the class, right? And now you're going to go to Bay Tong. So there's your gift certificate. So hold on, go ahead. And we'll have the mayor come up and you want to shake hands, mayor? <laughs> the girls? So Saratoga Elementary was really well served this year. Our, our thir third recipient came from Saratoga High. He's a ninth grader, and unfortunately, he's in a tennis tournament today, and he could not be here. But you, um, this his name is Kevin Chow, and we have spoken to his family. He's very excited, and he wanted to go to Sushi Heaven <laughs> and for his. So. But let me say that all these posters are absolutely beautiful, and we love them all. It took us forever to make up our mind. We just didn't know which one to choose. So we want to thank everybody, and all the posters will be at the library. They'll be set up there for a month until the end of May, so people can go by and take a look and see what these great children have done to celebrate trees.
So, is there anything you would like to say? Uh, no. <laughs> The library is very excited about Aileen's because it shows somebody reading, a girl reading a book under a tree, which is, they, they're really thrilled with that idea. So thank you very much for coming, you two. You're wonderful artists. Thank you. Uh, everybody together. Oh, Betty Peck is here. There you are. I am so proud to tell you that Betty, who was the kindergarten teacher at Saratoga Elementary for many, many years, there, a new book has just come out, and Betty is featured in the new book. I have it over there on the table, and it's called Living Life in Full Bloom. And the author uses Betty as an example of what living life in full bloom is. When Betty retired at I don't know what, how she was not, when, anyway, when she was 80, she got her doctorate and she wrote five books and she turned 80. So this is life in full bloom right here. So we're so excited to have you. Thank you, Jill. Um, so today we are planting a red oak tree and I'd like everyone to join us.